Up all my new gen elites. It's your favorite sports performance enhancement coach, Duke Smith. And today, I'm gonna show you how, or I'm gonna tell you how, to use the affirmations. How to form a good program that combines your affirmations with your workout schedule. Cause you need to work out. You definitely need to work out. Especially when you're using the affirmations. They go hand in hand. Now understand, affirmations do um, rewire your brain to think in ways that you haven't been thinking before. And a lot of times, when you're using these affirmations, if they're not working as quickly, it's because you have a, a, a belief that's, how would I say, that's in conflict with what you're trying to do now. And it's gonna take a little bit of time to unwire and rewire your brain to start thinking better thoughts. You get what I'm saying? So, right now, all I wanna ask you to do is to make sure you pick three affirmations. If you want a playlist with nine affirmations and if you want to do a whole bunch of affirmations, um, I would suggest that you pick three. I will pick three and try to make that the three that you stick with for the next 30 days. If you used to have seven, eight, nine videos in your playlist, then you should bring that down to at least three and focus on them three. I don't care if you listen to them three times each for the day. You get what I'm saying? So it's really important to make sure that you're in a good state, that you're not bored or it doesn't feel like a chore that you have to do this, that you could just do it, all right? And it can't be feeling laborious. You have to make sure you put that in every day every day and then you're gonna start seeing results but make sure you're training as well and Sunny Sandu thanks for emailing me keep it in contact I really appreciate that I really appreciate you reaching out and every time you hit me I'm gonna hit you back if I see the, the email and I encourage everybody else to as well um but Sunny the reason why the plyometrics aren't giving you as big of gains that you're expecting is because you're mixing it with cardio work. Plyometrics is not to be done with anything having to do with cardio or anything having to do with endurance. You're trying to be more explosive. You're not trying to train your endurance. You're trying to train your explosive muscle fibers, your fast twitch, type two muscle fibers. So, you will have to exercise and perform each rep at your maximum explosion. And that's the only way that you're gonna gain results from plyometrics. You cannot mix it with any cardio, any cardio work. All that stuff is supposed to be done afterwards. You know what I'm saying? Um, you won't get a sprinter and, and to get faster than a 100 meter dash by making him run 400 meters. like three sets of 400 meter laps, it's not gonna get him faster. It's gonna get his endurance more correct. You get what I'm saying? Endurance is not explosion. They're the complete opposites. Endurance, you could run five minutes. Explosion, you're not gonna run that, that fast for that long at all. 100 meter sprinters, look at the amount of energy that they're using for the whole 100 meter dash. Tremendous. It's like you're going, you're maxing out on a run. That's what a 100 meter dash is. You're actually maxing out your run, your, your speed, until you can't run no more. You know, you gotta be at your fastest. So think of your training as, if you wanna jump higher, you have to do things that require you to be on the ground less. Your ground contact time has to decrease in order for your, your physical abilities to increase. And I will show you how to do that because I'm about to start my um I'm about to start my vertical program again. I got a gym pass for the year. I've been in there for the last couple days, you know, to get back in a good enough shape in order to start my program. 
You get me? So I'm going to take y'all through that journey. I'm going to document it. The journey is 12 weeks. It's three phases. After each phase, you get a week off to rest or heal, or heal your body, restore everything. And it's going to be fun, man. So y'all stay tuned for that. And make sure you tell me what you're having problems with, what's your affirmations, what are you having problems with as far as your workout. And I'll help you correct it. Any concerns you have, any um, requests, leave them in the comments. And let me know how you like this video. And if you want me to make more videos explaining certain things. Because the, the better understanding we get when we're doing these uh, exercises and doing, and doing these uh, training re regimens, it's going to equal out to better sports performance. So you got to have a good know, a good knowing about what you're doing. All right? So I just want you to hit me up. Make sure you put in the comments what you're having problems with, what you need help with correcting. Um, any questions about affirmations and how to use them. Any questions about your training program and if you're having trouble uh, making gains from your training program, let me know in the comments, all right? And I'll get you as soon as I can. Um, we're about to turn up a lot. We're about to really turn up because... The goal is to get a 50 inch vertical leap. There's the road to the 50 inch vertical leap. And I'm doing this at 37 years old. And I'll be 38 in April. You know? April 2nd to be exact. So uh if y'all want to send any presents, y'all can. <laughs> yeah, alright, so just hit me up in the comments, people. And I'll see y'all in a little bit. It's Duke Smith. Mind, body, and sports. Improve today. Dominate the mall. You heard me? I'm out.